ready to get started? Yes. All right. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me. All right. <clears throat> politicians' children choose to steer clear of the campaign trail. Yet, it seems that wherever Tom Fielding goes, his daughter Ryan is right there beside him. Is that your choice? Of course. I think being exposed to this world at such a young age has really helped. When I was little, my dad was in the 4th of July parade, and the people, and the music, and the lights, I loved it. Tom Fielding was joined by his daughter Ryan Fielding today. The two greeted shoppers as they left the store, thanking them for their support and hoping they would come out for the election next month. Two senators, four congressmen, and one vice presidential nominee. They were all mayor of St. Sebastian, and Ryan Fielding is doing everything she can to see that her father follows in their footsteps. Even when he was reorganizing building safety codes and championing... <clears throat> Champ, championing, champ, even when he was... However, many critics of the fielding camp say that Ryan's involvement in this election is purely cosmetic and more a means to soften the image of Tom Fielding, whose run as state fire marshal was not without controversy. Ryan, we have two minutes. A little more on the lips. It's just better for the camera. My mother died when I was in preschool, and for as long as I can remember, it's just been my dad and me. And this city and this campaign has been incredibly important to him, and I'm really just happy to be here to support my dad. Even when he was reorganizing building safety codes and championing new legislation as state fire marshal, he never missed a gymnastics meet. He never missed a gymnastics meet. The downsides to overexposure on the campaign trail are nothing compared to the rewards of winning, of being granted the position to greatly impact the policy of this beautiful city of ours. I'm just really proud to be here supporting my dad. He never missed a gymnastics meet. He's a man of his word, of integrity, of responsibility. My father has been there for me in good times and in bad. He would do anything for me. And if you are lucky enough to have him as mayor, You'll understand how lucky I am to be his daughter. Dad, you're up. I thought for a second you weren't going to make it. I'll always be here for you, you know. Thanks, honey. You earned your allowance this week. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tom Fielding, and I'm running for mayor of St. Sebastian.
Now let's get this town hall started. Let's have our first question. What makes you most qualified to be mayor of St. Sebastian? I find myself in a position where I can see what works for the city and what doesn't. Calm down, calm down. It's a legitimate question. Maysfield was a tragedy. I've been forced to make some tough decisions. And I've also been made to realize the consequences of those decisions. That's experience. And ultimately, that's what leadership is all about. The willingness to make the tough decisions. Thank you for your question. Who's next? Yes, ma'am. Maysfield? Jesus Christ, I thought we were screening these people. It was the second question, Tom. No one's gonna remember it. It was the only thing they're gonna be thinking about, the only thing they're gonna remember. What do the Times call me? The little boy who hides behind his office. Everybody knows what really happened. And they're gonna find out soon anyway. You have just gotta stay on point and keep working for Tuesday. I am so going to miss your concise political analysis <laughs> when you're up there in Seattle. Thanks for the night. You were elegant and poised and an amazing daughter. Hmm. I hold up. Holding. Yeah, same as me. Which reminds me. Palmer? And the Happy birthday. Hmm. Every award-winning journalist should have one. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. I'm just an associate editor, Dad, and the source would have been more appropriate. Oh, no, now. When a feeling puts their heart into something, watch out. <laughs> You're gonna dazzle them. Tom. Birthday night at the cabin with your friends? Yeah, they want to take me out, but I don't know about that. Well, you can meet them after dinner with Derek. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Are you ready to go? What is it? Never in public. It's a strong campaign strategy. Yeah, Fielding has been struggling greatly with his public image. Many still see him as a jittery hall monitor who will just run to the principal at the first sign of trouble. Right, not as a man of action, but a man of inaction. Even when the Maysfield controversy first hit, he never made any public statement. He just sort of pulled the covers over his head and hid through the storm. Uh-huh, and now he's hiding behind his own daughter. I wonder how long till she cuts and runs. Hopefully Ryan didn't inherit that trait from dear old dad. In Sacramento News.
<laughs> or not. <laughs> oh, fucking Derek. I swear that shit show has no idea what's going on. He's a total Chan, Ryan. A Chan? Child man. Man child. Very eloquent. Ah, <laughs> wait a minute. Is that a smile I see for the first time? Hold everything. Houston, we have a smile. <laughs> hey, Ian. Uh -huh. Let me tell you about a girl I know. Oh, oh yeah? You may have heard of her. Hmm. Ryan Fielding. Hmm. Sounds familiar. <laughs> tell me more. Well, she's the toughest girl I know. Oh, yeah? Nothing phases her. I met her in first grade. She's about six inches tall. Oh, um, thanks. That's, that's really nice. <laughs> and impossible, but um, keep going. First day of class, Mr. Linger's calling roll. And he says, Rianne? <laughs> is Rianne fielding there? And this girl shouts from the back of the class, Ryan, my name is oh, wow. Ryan. It's not that hard, it's Ryan. Right? <laughs> I know. Well, you, sp you spell it funny, that's... I know. I just thought, <laughs> damn, who is this girl? Standing up to the teacher on the first day of class. She's been my hero ever since. Aww. That's cute. That's really cute. Well, when I was in first grade, I shouted, E-N. <laughs> my name is E-N. <laughs> oh, my. Now it's burning bright. So that's it. I mean, three years with Derek Altman, just psst, goodbye. I think you're getting okay, a bit Okay, Jesus, Leslie. Get off it. I'm just saying, maybe Derek wanted Ryan to fight to keep him. Or maybe we should go smash his car windows in with a baseball bat. Here's what you do. You call Derek up, go to lunch tomorrow, talk it over. I mean, show him you want to make it work. You got anything else I can burn? But what okay. does it matter? No, no, no. Ryan, here's what you do. You call Mr. Basketball from camp last summer, and you get him over here tonight. And you have yourself a little icing on your birthday cake. Oh, come on, Dina. Stop, both right. of you. you. You know what, Dina? Why don't you set up a meeting with Mr. Basketball and you tell me where and what time I need to be there for that little sexual encounter. And Leslie, how about you prepare some talking points for me to present to Derek tomorrow morning? But be specific, though. We have to stay on message if we're going to win this thing. I'm sorry. I've had a really bad day. I'll be better in the morning. Go get breakfast, go shopping. Sure, sweetie. Yeah. Whatever you need, hon. Little icing on your birthday cake. Okay, screw off, Ian. <laughs> First to admit, this has been a pretty shitty birthday for all parties involved. How is it bad for you? You're drunk. True. <laughs> we'll take her to a big breakfast in the morning. Ryan just needed to blow some steam. Exactly. It's good for her. And we're not taking her to Terribles. She hates that place. Why not? I don't care how much you like it. It's my favorite place. <laughs> hey, Ian. Leslie, you're my girlfriend. You're not worth it, Derek Altman. Not at all. Can you guys just get away? 
away from that. You know what? Curry's on his way. Fuck that. What are you doing, Ian? Ian, don't stay inside. I'm gonna kick his fucking ass. That's what I'm gonna do. You have a date. Stay inside. Look, it's probably just some stupid kids trying to scare the rich mayor's daughter. It'll be fine. This didn't look like a kid, Ian. Come on, relax. I have security. Don't hit. You gonna put that thing down? Sorry. You're not Mr. Fielding's daughter. Where, where is she? I'm here. Are you all right? Yeah, just a little shaken. There's someone trying to break into my bedroom window. We got a guy sweeping the yard right now. Mind if I check the house? Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, so, uh, there's actually a broken window in, in her bedroom over here. Don't worry, ladies. Everything will be fine. I think it's, I, um, I feel feeling it's probably just like some kids or something, uh, we'll but. We'll be out of your hair in a sec. It's actually right through here. Yeah, it looks like somebody broke Let's just stay at my place. Right. I'll make Everything off. clear out here? Baby's good. It's gonna I'm be okay. Sweet. Everybody on the floor! <laughs> Everybody on Where's the daughter? I don't know what you're talking about. Fielding's daughter. Where is she?
drop back here in 10 seconds, your friends are dead. What do you want? 10. No, please, just wait, I can... 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Throw the phone away. Up the stairs. What are you doing? Trust me, four is better than three. It's a deal, kids. It's just like kindergarten. Walking a straight line to the school bus. Nobody talks, nobody gets shot. I just, um, I feel terrible. I, I wanted to talk. Not now. We'll have coffee tomorrow. I've heard that before. Let's, uh, let's do dinner tomorrow night. Oops, going door to door. Can't wait to see that movie tonight. Never mind. Have a photo op with Dad. Please, just hear me out now while I have you alone with no one here to interrupt us. After I left the restaurant, I realized that I wasn't being fair. We've... We've been together for almost two years now, and like, that's a really long time. Derek! I don't want it to be for nothing. I, I know you're going to Seattle for that job. I'm not going to stand in the way of your dream. I want to make it work. I just want you to say that you have a problem. Fine, I have a problem. Now please go. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. It's your birthday. I want my girl to be alone on her birthday. No, you have to go. Don't be stubborn. I came back. You win. I'm not... Fine. You know what? Fuck you. What? You say I've got a problem, you break up with me on my birthday, and right before this huge election, you've got a problem. This is my family. This is about our legacy. You knew who my father was when we started dating. You knew what was coming, so don't stand in the way. I want a boyfriend, not a baby. Get lost. Go! Now, before I call security and have you arrested for trespassing. Jesus. Rodan Ryan lives. Poor bastard. Probably would have preferred to have been shot to a new asshole like that. <laughs> Field trips not canceled. Take your positions. We'll walk them out one by one. You have no idea what you're doing. And Lee, that's why they have two points for you. No! No! <laughs> Father Roger Leo is chief medical officer of Norway Private Hospital. 
His mother, Claire Leal, been a leading corporate defense attorney for 25 years. What is this? Estimated combined family income. $2.3 million. <laughs> Leslie McCurry. Good natured, sweet, firstborn Leslie McCurry. Leslie? Mother Michelle McCurry stays home to mind the children. Newborn, dignified profession, to be sure. Made easy when your husband Keith is CEO of one of the world's largest manufacturers of microprocessors. No, he can't! They're it's, gonna it's, okay. Kill it's okay. It's okay. I know they're gonna kill no, no, no. <laughs> Estimated family income, $5.8 million. It's okay. It's okay. And the lovely Dina Rock. Mother, Danny, endowed chair, head of the Faculty of Architecture of San Francisco State University. Estimated income, $1.2 million. And they say public education doesn't pay. Tom Fielding, widower, and arguably the most recognizable man in St. Sebastian. His rise from captain to chief to state fire marshal in the St. Sebastian Fire Department was so swift and elegant it was legendary. Now, bored, he might just become our next mayor. Estimated income, $3.6 million. You know what's great about rich people? They only hang out with other rich people. And their kids only hang out with other rich kids. Oh, shit. Surely they can spare a few dimes for us little people to save the lives of their children. Cox! Cox! Get him back inside!
30. Anybody at home? Set yourself as a lookout upstairs. Take Dana with you. If they try to come in or do something, she's our safety. Ryan stays with me. You should have let me shoot the boyfriend. Now you box yourself in. You're with us now. Happy? Keep your eyes out back. Check the yard in the street. Make sure we're in the clear. boy said he didn't want to get in the way of your dream. Talking to you as part of your little zip tie torture porn thing, keep it up because your conversation's a winner. <laughs> She's going to be an editor. Magazine's called Hopeway. Based in Seattle. Hip yet socially conscious without being too intellectual. Young working girls vogue. Sounds like a tough job to get. It is. She worked her ass off. Well then. Congratulations are in order. Yay! Good for you, Roaring Ryan. What is that name you keep calling me, Roaring Ryan? Roaring Ryan. Ryan the Golden Child. Princess bitch of St. Sebastian. Kids can be cruel. You want to tell her, Leslie? What? Come on, Leslie. Now it's not the time to be coy. They're just stupid names. What do you want from me? She knows how people are. So tell her, not me. <sighs> there are some people, and these people obviously don't know you at all. There are some people that don't like you, Ryan. Gee whiz, Leslie, that can't be. Oh, but it can be, Ryan, it can. And do you know how these people express their frustration with you? Oh, please, oh, please, tell me. They call you names behind your back. Ah, oh, just like in kindergarten. Just like in kindergarten. You know, I'm sure you think that this is supposed to hurt me, to cause me some sort of inner emotional turmoil. Unfortunately, you didn't factor in that I don't give a fuck. People talk, it's what they do. My father has been a public figure for my entire life. You adjust. You stand up tall. You smile. You come to an understanding that there will always be people who are jealous of you. In second grade, 
Rebecca Gold used to push me down and put gum in my hair because every time a Beth Cutie doll came out, my father would always get it for me. Well, guess what? It's still second grade, and the world is still full of Rebecca Gold. But I don't run crying to my teacher anymore, and I don't apologize for my family's success. So if you're trying to gain some emotional leverage on me, I suggest you stick to your gun. Or just end this whole screw up now and save us all the trouble of having to sit here and watch a bunch of morons run around trying not to shoot their dicks off. Don't fucking breathe. Gun down. Hands in your head. Do you have friends or are you a hero? What's your name, friend? Anthony. Anthony what? Anthony Burke. Have you met Ryan before, Anthony? You two work well together. Ryan, this is Anthony. Anthony, this is Ryan Fielding, Tom Fielding's daughter. Aren't you impressed? You're right, Ryan. People talk. And when they're sucking up pieces of your bodies with a wet vac, I wonder what they'll be saying. What will the value of the Fielding family legacy be worth then? provoke that psycho if I just kept my mouth shut. That man would still be dead. It was reckless of him to come in here. You didn't kill him, Ryan. Trigger happy and Phantom of the Opera over here? I take control, it's long gone. Well, if you want to go back to cleaning toilets at the YMCA, why don't you just jump out a window and turn yourself in? Easy money. That's what you said. Take the kids from the house, time to a drainage pipe in Lincoln Creek, tell the cops where they are when we get our money. How are we gonna get out of here? Ford is planned. Close all the blinds. Lock that back door. Move the cops, buddy. We've got ten minutes before we have to make that call. 
and turn on some lights. I already know we're in here now. How's everything going? You guys doing okay? What's your name? My name's Dina. I was born in San Diego. My birthday's the day after Christmas. Which really sucks, you know, because all my friends were out of town for my party. When's your birthday? I can see it in your eyes. You're a good person. You have a sweet face. And as crazy as things have gotten tonight, I know you don't mean to be doing the things you're doing. Tom Fielding. Tom, we have a little surprise for you. Oh, yeah? Your daughter, Ryan, who gave a wonderful <laughs> introduction for you earlier today. That's my girl. And this evening, she's called in with some exciting news. Ryan, are you there? Hi, honey. Yeah, I'm here. And what's the message you have for your dad? <laughs> Four men with guns have broken into the house. They're holding me, Ryan Fielding, as well as Dina Roberts, Leslie McCurdy, and Ian Leal. They want $20 million in cash by 1 a.m. or they will kill us. Murder us one by one and burn your house to the ground. Have Tom Fielding contact us for further instructions. They will only speak to Tom Fielding. And please remember, there will be no negotiations. There will be no mercy. There will only be money or blood. Honey, Ryan, are you there? I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, breaking news, you're hearing it here first. Um, well done, Ryan. Ryan. Ransom? Ransom? That's not what we agreed to. Three for three. You shouldn't have come. There's things you don't know. This is the way it's gonna be. End of discussion. Have in my arms. You don't even have anti both. Just, just one. We can just talk. You know what? I'll tell the police that you were nice to me. I'll tell them that you even helped me.
It was just 27 minutes ago that we first heard of the terrible events unfolding inside the building home. With police still just arriving, there has been no contact made with any of the hostage takers. A 911 call from Derek Altman, Ms. Fielding's boyfriend, alerted the security guards of the gated community to the scene, where they found a blindfold in the driveway and a few drops of blood on the steps leading to the home. While local police are now involved, a SWAT unit has been dispatched from Sacramento and is expected to arrive within the next two hours. Police found the missing guards in the woods, tied to trees. They were unconscious. Their uniforms are still missing. They are believed to have been used by the hostage takers. Standing here now as an exclusive to your local Channel 5 News is Ryan's boyfriend, Derek Altman. Derek, you were the first to report the trouble to the 911. Is this correct? Yes. Yes, it was. I came over. And, uh, she was acting really weird and, um, told me to leave, but, um, you know what, she, uh, she saved my life. If you can hear this, I just want you to know, um, uh, happy birthday, I, I love you, and uh, it's gonna be okay. Um, I will get you out of this. Or the SWAT team will. Derek, you heard it first from Channel 5. Touch me and we'll fucking kill you! I'm gonna get one close to me. When I move on him, you and Ryan go for the back door, okay? No. No. What are you doing? I'm standing up. <clears throat> Down. Or what? You gonna shoot me? Sounds good to me. Don't fucking bluff me. Death wish, Ian. If you're gonna do it, then then do it. Ian, sit down. They're not gonna shoot me. We're not. <laughs> no, you're not. And you want to know why? Oh, yes, please. Sit down, Ian. Because I'm worth $5 million to you. <laughs> you're not going to shoot any of us. Because if you do, you're not going to get shit. I think you should sit down. Fuck you! I'm your bank. Always there for you, remember? You promised me. Give me the gun. I told you I'd make it right. What are you mind? You forget about Aaron and Nicole? You forget about making it right? I am making it right. <sighs> Nicole was like family to me, too. Take a good look, Luke. This is what betrayal looks like. You gonna stand for it? What are you gonna do now, Daniel? You gonna send me out there? You gonna send me to jail? the door. <laughs> Why did he do that? Why did that maniac shoot Ian? Don't call him a maniac. Oh, he's a fucking monster. 
when everything you've known has been destroyed, we'll see what you do. card for a two-year-old and write a three behind it. I told him it was stupid. The noise has caused quite a stir of activity, Alex. Police have yet to comment on the gunshot just heard inside the fielding home. While we do not yet know more, our thoughts and prayers go out to the children of St. Sebastian who remain trapped inside. May you return home safely. Who am I speaking with? This is Tom Fielding. You show up when people need you. Fine quality in a candidate for mayor. I want to speak to my daughter. Speak up, Ryan. Dad! Are you all right, honey? They killed Ian! Jesus Christ. How could you- Tempers flare, Mr. Fielding. Sometimes people don't listen. Casualties for a greater cause, you understand. Understand, you killed an innocent child. You shouldn't be lecturing me, Tom. We're all somebody's child and hardly innocent. In fact, to my left, I'm looking at framed, fielding family photographs, including one of baby Ryan. And in front of me are two dead bodies and three more possibilities on deck. Do you want to decide the batting order, Tom? Or can you give me my money? It's the middle of the night. You can't expect us to pull millions of dollars in cash right now. Oh, I think you can, Tom. And their parents are your campaign contributors. You can make them understand and find a way. Give up a hostage. Excuse me? Are you negotiating? You killed one of the hostages. You said we had until one o'clock to get you the money, and if we didn't, that you'd harm the hostages, you lied. Seller's discretion. We will not tolerate bad behavior. I'll sweeten the deal. Give up my daughter and you can have me instead. No, Dad! I don't think she wants you to do that, Tom. Dad, you don't have to prove anything. Do we have a deal? What do you think, Ryan? My friends are here because of me. I'm not leaving them. Take Leslie. It's Leslie or no deal. You know as well as I do that he would want you to get out of here, that he'd want you to be safe, right? Right. I will see you in just a little bit.
touch you today. Welcome to the party. This one's for you. Why don't you sit next to your daddy, Ryan? Bring Dina down. Bring her down. So, candidate Fielding. How are you? Elections three days away. Seen the latest numbers, most say you're trailing. Not very good for St. Sebastian's number one boy. I appreciate your sentiment. Well, just so you know, I'm voting for the other guy. Politician, are you, Tom? I mean, how are you getting out of here? The place is surrounded. You need me. Dad. We have you. A gun to your head, and a gun to your daughter's head. We're getting out of here. Impressive spin. There's a tunnel that runs from my basement to the edge of the woods near the highway. I'll take you. There you'll find my assistant, Palmer. A clean car. He'll drive you anywhere you want to go. And four million dollars cash on Mark Bills. That was as much as I could pull together with such short notice. Deal. Oh, no. Deal. Oh. 
Hello. Bryce, what did you do? I'm exhausted, aren't you? You know, I told Daniel to, to let me handle things, let me make things right, but he just, he went off and he went rogue. I mean, who the fuck does that? You read the Odyssey, Tom? Well, when Odysseus comes back to Ithaca after years and years of sailing, he finds all these horny, gross, fat men raping and fucking up his kingdom. And he doesn't split his gold with those bastards. He fucking kills them. No deals, no arrangements, just the bad being punished. And you, you raped and fucked my kingdom. But I gotta tell you, I am not that impressed. Now you see this, this I am impressed with. Product of wealth and privilege grown from birth to be the perfect companion piece to an aspiring political career. Leave her alone. Do you know how lucky you've had it, sweetie? Do you know how the world has been handed to you? You're a psycho. Tell her. I'm not gonna apologize for our family success. Tell her how lucky she's had it. Tell her what the great fielding name has done for her. Tell her, Dad. What? Our house? Our, what we own? I don't know what you're talking about. You're gonna have to do better than that, Tom. Stanford. It helped get you into Stanford. The president wanted a house down here and I pulled some strings with the zoning commission. I, I, My SAT scores were never that strong. I always figured I got a little help from somewhere. <laughs> Keep going, Dad. Your job in Seattle? The editor Worked with me in Sacramento, and I promised him a, an exclusive after the election. I'm sorry, honey, I should have told you. Life is leverage. Just like my wife's, and her sister, and my baby. Your baby? You know, that's a funny thing about burn victims, Tom. Sometimes the bodies are so badly incinerated, there's nothing left. Maysfield? You're talking about Maysfield? Nicole was three months pregnant. You burnt my baby, and you let her cook. That building had been burning for over 20 minutes. It was starting to collapse. He couldn't send any more firemen in. How many times does he have to defend that night? Yeah. <clears throat> Does the name Michael Ford mean anything to you? Dad's best friend. We spend New Year's together. He's donated money to Dad's campaigns. There it is. Michael Ford's father sits on the board of directors for Gateway Real Estate. And Gateway had been desperately trying to acquire a piece of land located at 1st and 3rd downtown. Do you know what used to be there? The Maysfield Hotel. And what's there now? Waterfront condos. Big sellers. Prime property now owned by Gateway Real Estate. But how did they do this? Maysfield had been there for years. The owner didn't want to sell. Are you saying they burned down the hotel? Bingo. You are a Stanford girl. But you see, there's one more thing. You see, they paid off the fire chief to be just a few minutes late, to be just a little too slow, to let the building burn long enough that it could not be saved. The fire starts on the first floor. The guests can't get out. The guests die. Lawsuits ensue, and the owner is forced to sell. New condos appear and fill up immediately, and Tom Fielding makes money. 
and keeps his best friend happy. And my wife and child burned to death on the fourth floor. That's not true. Look at your life, Brian. How do you think a fireman affords all of this? This is your second home. Just a few minutes ago, your father was willing to let the men who held you for ransom go free, as long as he could make it look good for the TV cameras. Dad, please say something. I'm sorry for your loss. Just because I didn't have family in that building doesn't mean I don't think about those people that burn to death every day of my life. Are you practicing a speech? No. I'm being serious. I know the void that opens up when someone loses. I don't want to speak to Tom Fielding, the candidate. I want to speak to Tom Fielding, the human being. Does he still exist? What do you want? I want you to die, Tom. You and your daughter. Three for three. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about your wife and baby. I'm so fucking sorry. But I didn't do the things you said I did. I didn't let those people die. I tried to save them. I didn't let them die. I tried to save them. You are lying. I'm about to kill your daughter, and you're still fucking lying? No, please. No. Please. I'm begging. Don't do this. Thank you, Tom. I won't ever forget it. Put it down, asshole. You know how to use that thing, child? I don't know. Are we gonna find out?
be able to make it. I have to go to San Francisco with Derek to look for a job. But the job in Seattle is what you really wanted. I didn't get that job. You did. It doesn't feel right. Ryan, you didn't get that job because you're my daughter. They read your samples. They know your talent. You can't change who you are. Family sticks together. What Robert Michael said wasn't true. They were going to take you down to Lincoln Creek and tie you up to a drainage pipe. They tried to rape Dina. They killed Ian. I can't believe a word he said. Tom, Channel 5's on the phone. The race never ends. I hope you're there tomorrow night. I'm going to lose. You being there is the only thing that really matters. I'm coming. Tom Fielding, going against police wishes, managed to subdue the kidnappers and save the girls. When police tried to stop him, he was overheard saying, it's my daughter. It's my responsibility. This is Samantha Lee. Good night. Thank you. With polls closed just under an hour now, we should expect the first election results at any time. This has been a truly unique election uh, uh, Tom. with more voters than we have ever seen. The high profile kidnapping of Tom looks like a nail biter. You know, I've been thinking a lot about what happened, and I realized they weren't just after me and my friends. They were after you and your reputation. Exactly. This was about being seen and sending a message. Yes. So, how did you know what they were planning to do? What? Yesterday, when I left, you said that they were planning on taking us to Lincoln Creek and tying us to a drainage pipe, but... They never said that when you were on the phone, and they never said that when you were there, so how did you know what they were planning to do? Tom? Just give me a second. Tom, they're about to call it. Just wait. Honey. It was all your plan, wasn't it? They take us hostage and let you save the day that deal that their leader was talking about, that deal was with you, and they had no idea, did they? Did they? No. Four million to take the house, and four million to disappear when it was over. But I never intended for anyone to get hurt. They killed Ian! That psycho Robert Michaels was never supposed to be there. Even as these first numbers begin to come in, it's really not unexpected that Fielding and McFadden would be running so close. I would never let anything happen to you. You used me. No, no. I, I needed you. I needed your help. They needed to see this side of me. This election is a major turning point in our family's history. I mean, your history? No, no. This will open up doors for you, too. If we pull this off, we move into a whole new class. We move to a whole new community, a whole, a whole new stature. And if we keep going, there's nothing that we can't do, that we can't do. Well, here we go. Yes, yes, they're calling it. Congratulations, Dad. What are you doing? Calling the police. Think before you make that call. If 
you turn me in. You'll destroy everything this family stands for. And what has our family come to stand for? Getting what you want no matter the cost? <sighs> now you're starting to sound like all the rest of them. Jealous people who can't control their lives, so they blame everyone else. If you make that call, everything you have, everything that this family has given you will be gone. do anything for me. And if you're lucky enough to have him as mayor, you'll understand how lucky I am to be his daughter. <laughs> 